Welcome back to Julian's Random Projects. This is, I don't know, the third installment of the repair and testing of some of these goofy uh, 410 watt power inverters. They're modified sine wave, so it's not ideal, but and they're okay for getting light bulbs up and going. Um, <laughs> the, the smallest space heater, which is usually ideal for these kind of load tests, because um, they're really simple, it's just a resistor in there um, right, for the heating element. The, the smallest one I have pulls like 500 watts and this thing's rated for 410 and I, I doubt it could even do 410 consistently so we, we'll find out shortly here. Uh, so what I have is coming off of this kilowatt meter on the AC side uh, I've got a little Y adapter that splits off to an array of light bulbs and so as I kick those on ha 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 um, you'll see on uh, our DC side over here we got 82 watts being pulled that's about right I think the, a bunch of the bulbs that I've got laying around are 75 watt bulbs so 75 plus some loss from the inverter uh, let's take a look at this guy power factor is pretty whoops I'll go back down power factor is pretty good for modified sine wave uh, Hertz DC. I've never seen that before. That's funny. Uh, amperage, if anybody cares about that. Watts. That's what. We're not going to get joules today, so watts is what we'll monitor. And we're pulling 60 some odd watts through this guy. And that. I'm not sure how true that is. Um, that might have something to do with a modified sine wave. I, I don't know how well this thing monitors modified sine waves. Hell, we might even blow it up today. That'll be kind of fun. Um, we will see. Uh, so let's kick on another one. Oh, and off screen here is a big, fat, massive car battery and uh, some inline fuses. I think this, the smallest one's like 30 amps, so I, I anticipate tripping that today. Well, let's see what we can do. Uh, so already the fans kicked on for the inverter. Here we go. 130, that's another lamp. Whoa, yes. 200, what do we have? 11.3. So it looks like our crappy little car battery couldn't keep up with that. And it dipped down to 11.3 volts. I'm guessing we're hitting some sort of low voltage warning. Let's see if I can reproduce that really quick. Yep, 11.3, doesn't like that. All right, all right, I'm back with an even bigger battery. <laughs> it's like a 150 amp hour battery that's off screen here. I had to run these down on the floor. It's pretty heavy, it's like 100 pounds. Uh, apparently the kilowatt does not like modified sine wave uh, voltages. I kept getting zero as a, as a voltage reading. And of course, it, it then can't do the math if I throw it some some loads, uh, so this is out of the out of the question right now. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to leave a comment if you had that experience with modified sine wave not working with a kilowatt. It was working a while ago, but when I started getting to the heavier loads, no dice. Uh, so let's toss that over there. This is working. There you go. See that current kick up? I'll try not to wash out the screen. It's like high contrast. I think this thing's designed for like hobbyists that are building like RC planes and stuff so it's got some high contrast that doesn't do well for videoing. It looks great in person though. Uh, so we're pulling 80 watts there. That's a single light bulb. There's another light bulb. 160. Another light bulb. Uh, so we're already at 250. Doesn't smell bad. 250. Check out our cool little IR guy here. Did it blind on the back side, but a lot of these meters have a uh, max temp feature. Oh, look at that, the top of the top of this guy is warm. That's ex the, the top getting warm is expected as even heat rises. So there's that. 
but uh, yeah, it's doing all right. Unless that was the wires. That's the wires. All right. The only other string of lights I've got on here is this other desk lamp, which I swapped out with a 75 watt thing. 355, 356. Voltage dropped down to 11 11.6. Oop, there it goes. My goodness. Yeah, I don't know that 11.6 is an appropriate cutoff uh, for this thing. It doesn't seem right. Um, but it could be. Or, or it's, it's another thing that was set by some resistor value and needs adjusting still. I'd like to see it cut off at you know, something closer to like 11. Um, maybe we relabel these as 250 watts. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. This is what's realistically possible. Well, we got a bunch of lights going here. You know, there's a lot of a lot of heat generated off these guys. I mean, that's that power's coming from somewhere. It's coming from this massive battery I'm sitting next to. Um, I'm just getting too warm. All right, so it's looking like uh, 250 watts is about our limit right now for this guy. Um, surely, I don't need to get more batteries in parallel, but I, I can do that. Um, I just didn't think I needed to. Uh, we'll see. I need to get a bigger power supply. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for another installment of goofing around with cheap power inverters. This is uh, Julian for Julian's Random Projects. See you next time.